everyone and welcome to another one of my renovation videos. If you don't know me, I'm Emma and me and my husband have bought a three bedroom semi-detached house which we've renovated and are still renovating. Got a really exciting update this video actually. We've decided to go for getting patio doors in our dining room which I spoke a little bit about in our last video. I would have loved to have got bifolds but the cost was not in our budget so we've gone with French double doors that just open out and that is going to be installed very shortly, in fact less than a month now and if you remember as well from the last video there's a radiator in front of this window so that is going to have to move and that's going to happen on Thursday so um, yeah I'll show you a bit behind the scenes of that because moving the radiator means that we're going to have to go from upstairs and then clear that room out and then have it coming down this wall. So yeah, that's exciting. And um, if you can't tell, it's a sunny day today. So me and my mum actually went to a garden centre yesterday and I felt inspired <laughs> to start gardening. So I thought I'd show you a bit of that as well. Especially as we had the garden done sort of end of last year and we're still working on it now. I'll show you what it looks like now. We're looking after the dogs this weekend, David's parents' dogs. So there's Ned, he's just enjoying a little treat. There. And as you've probably just seen, yes, these fence panels for, of our neighbours have been replaced so I'm going to have to do some more painting. <laughs> Here's our painting from last year, I'll put a link to the video above in case you've not watched those videos when we started making over the garden. Still need to paint these yet and um, give the garage a couple more coats and might actually paint that garage door as well. I come over here, you'll see I've got a couple of pots like this pot here and this pot here, a couple of pots there. And if you did watch my videos from before, I planted some winter pansies in winter, obviously, so they've come out nice. I'll, I'll keep those in there for now, as they've still got flowers in there, but when they start dying off, they're gonna probably come out. I'm just gonna come back here to show you what I got from the garden centre yesterday. So I've got some lilies um, for one of the pots, and I've also got some fuchsias for one of the pots also, some for Bina, I think this is pronounced for the little flower bed where the pansies are at the moment and uh, finally some uh, dahlias for another pot and just come over here um, I'm just going to move this one out of the way first and talk about that last so I've got some different coloured lobelia um, here and here so these are going to go in the pots and a bit in the flower bed as well to, um, yeah, to mix it up a little bit also got some sweet williams which I thought this mix looked quite nice as well. Finally, I don't know how to pronounce the proper name of this. I just know it as red hot pokers. This is going to go right at the back next to those grassy bits uh, in front of the fence. So I think that'll look quite nice. Ned is still just chilling out with his bone. This is said radiator, so I need to get that out and just behind these curtains here are also some piping which will be removed. Which of course means I need to move everything from the room directly above it, which I'm going to do now. I've just finished work before I cook dinner. I'm going to start doing that now <laughs> before I sit down for the evening. I guess there's not too much to move in here, but yeah. Might take a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
while since I spoke to you. So I I filmed some clips of when the radiator was getting moved and just in case I haven't shown you the new radiator. Here it is in all its glory. Ignore my little hair towel in the end there. But yes, of course, I'm going to be painting these pipes that go down but I'm just gonna uh, wait for a bit before painting it because the good news is that our doors are going to be getting done in only a few days now. So today's Saturday and they're getting done on Tuesday so yeah really really soon radiators all moved so that's all been sorted really excited and once those are in because of the threshold I think the threshold's going to be a hard wood I'm going to paint that um, and then that will get me in the mood for painting for pipes and other touch-ups around the, around the house. So yeah, I'm going to wait until that until I start painting. But it is bank holiday weekend, uh, May bank holiday weekend this weekend. So if you can't tell already, it's quite a sunny weekend and I want to start doing more work in the garden. I've still got these fence panels to paint yet. I know I've spoken to you about those and the other little jobs around the garden. But I think I might take this opportunity to start jet washing the patio. You can see these bits the birds have thrown off from the roof. But yeah, so time to go around my dad's, pick up the jet wash and go to P&Q as well. <laughs> went good it absolutely knackered me last night slept like a log I've got some more jet washing to do today so I'll just turn the camera around and show you so as I would have shown you yesterday I've done all of this top patio up here and the path down here unfortunately it was quite difficult to get around this flower bed and not get this area muddy with the uh, jet washer and that water all kind of spilled down onto here so you'll probably see that there are some muddy patches hopefully I can just wash those off uh, quickly before I get started on this patio down here. So you can see kind of in the shadows here there's some muddy patches and if I walk up to the top patio here again you'll probably see it more in the shadows just just looks a bit patchy I think so hopefully I can just wash that all away quite quickly and get started on the patio down here which looking at that you can see such a difference between that and that. I might just try and do this edge bit as well because we'll be painting these fences and maybe around here. inside for a bit of lunch and it was quicker than expected actually just this little bit here but I am still worried I still I'm gonna drive myself mad basically with this mud every time there's like muddy water that comes up I try and spray it all off but then it goes on to different tiles and I'm like ah so the back is looking quite good although I am still a bit nervous about this step um, and the path hasn't dried yet so I'm hoping it will dry looking like that and this here, again, this isn't dry. It's not in the sun, it's in the shade, so it's going to take a little while to dry. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot of muddy water here as well, and I just couldn't get it all off, like uh, sweep it all off. Um, so you can probably tell by the state of my fingers. I've done some weeding as well. I think I'm just going to have a shower, try and forget about it for now, and um, come back later. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to hear in the back of this video, 
I'm sure you must be able to hear it, but the doors are getting done now. Well, actually, admittedly, they're not getting done. It's all the brickwork and the window coming out first. So I will try and grab some clips for you of the process. Although, to be honest, they've only been here for about just over an hour now and nearly all the bricks are out and the window's out already. So they're working quite quickly. It's quite noisy as well. doors are all done I can't take you over there just yet because there was so much dust in this room and David's just mopped the floor as you can see but I will give you a, a more closer look later on but oh my god they look so good I'll show you from the outside as well so there they are looks good looks good it's just let in so much more light and it's so nice to be able to look at the garden from the inside as well which of course we've mown the lawn yesterday and planted some plants so oh, yeah it's so good I'm coming back in here now this floor is sort of drying but um yeah here's our doors so obviously I've got some paint jobs to do and touching up around here I think I'm gonna uh, paint this threshold as well, just a plain white, because obviously we've got the wooden floor and then a different coloured wood here, just, I don't think it goes. So yeah, that's the job for the weekend. Just really pleased with it. And I don't know, I just, when I look back on pictures of this room and anywhere else in the house from the past two years, I just, it's just really made me realize how far we've come with it. But yes, I think I'll sign off the video here because this video is all about getting the doors in and they're in now, so I'm so pleased with it. Let me know what you guys think. I think I, they just look so good and it lets in so much light in here as well, whereas this is more on the north side of the house, but now, look at this, you can see me <laughs> and it's fine, it's good. Like. Oh, yeah, just really, really pleased. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've liked this video update, give me a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure you subscribe before you leave and you can keep up to date with all of our house updates. There will definitely be more coming soon. So thank you all so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.